Hey, today I want to talk about something important. I want to talk about something personal. I grew up in a very dysfunctional family. We grew up in anger and violence and alcoholism. And too many people in my family were, were angry about being raised in a hostile environment. And so we're angry. Uh, alcoholism has been a dysfunction. And so many of my relatives are alcoholics because they were raised in alcoholic families. I was raised in an abusive family and too many people in my family are abusive to their own kids and people around them. The Bible is very clear about passing along a cursed generation or a blessed generation. And we always say we don't want to turn out like our, our parents, but too many times we turn out exactly that way because we don't know any better. See, I was raised to pass along a cursed generation. And I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else, but I have intentionally worked so hard to make sure my children are blessed because I was willing to do the hard work. I was willing to go another direction to not pass on the curses to my kids and my grandkids. And like I said, I have a grandson now, Vincent, who I love dearly. And I want to make sure Vincent has a blessed bloodline. Matter of fact, I remember when I was a youth pastor in Arizona, I had a young man, he was so mad that his dad was an angry, abusive alcoholic until the day that we found him dead beside the pool from over drinking. He was living that cursed bloodline. Even though he hated his own father for being that way, he turned out just like him. I want to ask today, are you strong enough to break the generational curses? I know in Exodus 34, it talks about passing along a blessed or cursed bloodline. And we can complain about our parents, complain about this and complain about that. But the question is, are you really strong enough to stand in the gap, to break that cursed bloodline? That because of your hard work, your determination, your commitment to God to live a righteous life, to stand in the gap that you're willing to pass along a blessed bloodline. I want to encourage you today. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Believe that God is there for you. Believe that people like myself are praying for you, believing in you. If you don't like where you came from, start a new path for the next generation, the generation after that, that they know who you are. And the truth of it is, there's going to come a day you're going to die. People will not know you. They'll not know what you've done. But those in the following generations will never know what you did. See, what we do sometimes is not for our glory, but for the glory of God and the blessing of another generation. Will you join me today in creating new paths for the next generation? Because you care and because you are strong enough but you got to believe in you and you got to believe that, that God is there for you, that you pass a blessed bloodline. Hey, I don't know if anyone's told you lately, but God loves you and so do I. I pray I see you soon.